The Birth of the Moon by Cody Hall. Once upon a time, it was a dark night and the animals couldn't see a thing. So they asked the sun if he would shine on them during the night as well as the day. I'm sorry, but I can't, said the sun. I have to light the other side of the world. When it's night here, it's day there. But I have an idea. Watch the sky tonight. There'll be a surprise. The animals waited impatiently all day long. When night fell, they saw a tiny crescent of light in the sky. Bravo, they cried. Thank you, sun. The next morning, the sun asked the animals how they liked the surprise. It's wonderful, they replied. But could you make the crescent a little bigger? I will try, said the sun. And that night, the crescent of light had grown. Each night, the crescent grew and grew until it became a lovely, round full moon. The animals soon became used to having a light at night. They didn't marvel at it anymore and they didn't even think of thanking the sun. How sad the sun must feel. This made the sun angry. He made the moon smaller and smaller until one night it completely disappeared. <gasps> Look at how upset the sun was. The night, that night the sky was dark again. How ungrateful we were, said the animals sadly. They should have thanked the sun for the nice moon. The next day, they went to apologize to the sun. We're sorry, they said. Please bring back the moon. We can't see at night without it. All right, said the sun. But from now on, the moon will wax and wane to remind you to appreciate my gift to you. Small crescent. Ever since then, the moon disappears completely one night a month, but it always returns. Sometimes it's just a tiny crescent, sometimes as a round full moon to light the night for the animals. The ducks looking at the moon. The end. Remember, friends, with Earth Day coming near, we need to be thankful of our planet Earth and be good to each other and be good to the Earth.